Hello, my name is Larsa Hanna, and the book I chose for my IR project is One Day in the Life of E. Von Denisovich by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. The book is 208 pages. The book follows the story of a Soviet man who was sent to labor camps under the order of Stalin after having been suspected of being a spy. It takes place in a single day in the Siberian labor camp. It explains the struggles of the prisoners, who are also known as Zeks, that they had to live through as they are constantly beaten, punished, and starved. At the beginning of the novel, the main character, Ivan Dinosvich, who also goes by Shakov, feels exhausted and wishes to fake a sickness. Throughout the book, he begins to give in to the labor and take advantage of it as a way to forget his pains. By the end of the book, Dinosvich starts to feel more hopeful and wonder if God's protecting him. The book is basically supposed to be all against the Siberian labor camps and express the ways that the people living there are punished and mistreated. Therefore, the book ended up being banned and the author was later arrested. Later, he was released and the book was finally published in 1962. After being mistreated and disrespected by one of the guards, the book goes on to say, How can you expect a man who is warm to understand a man who is cold? That is on page 23. And that is written as a rhetorical question. It asserts the theme of the novel that someone who does not experience something cannot understand another who has. It also directly questions the reader and their thoughts. It relates to the cruelty of the guards and is written in informal diction and is significant because it basically just implies and directly asserts the theme of the novel that if someone has not, again, experienced the same thing as another, then they can never truly understand them. Now, when Sarkov was working, he sees a wall, and it's completely misshapen, and he decides he wants to work on it himself. He usually doesn't like work, but now, Sarkov tackled the wall as if it was his own handiwork. There, he saw was a cavity that couldn't be leveled up in one row. He'd have to do it in three, adding a little more motors each time. And that's on page 91. It is personification of the wall, as it describes it as a person giving the characters of having a cavity. It's also written with, as a balanced sentence, a climatic sentence as well, and has a touch of imagery as it explains how the wall not properly built. It's significant because it shows a shift in character and shock off from wanting to never ever work again and actually deciding that he wants to work on his own decision. At the end of the novel, Shokov is shown to reflect over his day and considers the day a day without a dark cloud, almost a happy day. There were 3,653 days like that in his stretch, from the first clang of the rail to the last clang of the rail. 3,653 days. That's on page 167. The quote was written with fragments. It has informal diction. It has repetition. It is also metaphorical as it refers to the day without dark clouds, basically a day without being beaten, a day without being punished, as almost a happy day because that's the best they can live with their lives. It's also written to sound dramatic as it substitutes 10 years for 3,653 days. It's significant because it explains how the prisoners have to experience the events mentioned in the novel every day for an extremely long period of time. A theme of the novel is that little things are important. It's significant because without simple items such as a spoon and the loaf of bread, the prisoners would not be able to survive and would basically be driven mad. Another theme is that the struggle to keep your humanity is just significant because the prisoners had to force themselves not to become depressed or just be laborers. They had to force themselves not to be robotic as meaning that they simply work just by force without thinking for their own themselves. Another theme is that you cannot understand someone if you are not the same. This is significant because it refers to how the prisoners were treated by the guards who pretend to know everything about them. Basically, the guards thought that they understood the prisoners and that the prisoners were actually being irrational for disliking the policies inflicted on them, but the guards actually did not understand the prisoners at all. This actually also refers to everyday life too. 
Another theme of the book is that people are cruel. Basically, this refers to the, how the prisoners were beaten and starved, and how the guards did not care whatsoever about how they were treated. Another theme of the novel is that basically your body goes against you. This is represented in a quote that goes, The belly is a demon. It doesn't remember how well you treated it yesterday. It'll cry out for more tomorrow. Basically, this implies that the prisoners will never be able to feel full and satisfied, and this continuously weakens them since they are starved. This also refers to how no matter how much the prisoners attempt to get themselves to feel healthy, it is basically inevitable that they will be sick. The end. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.